What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online Casino a DLC video. My name is Saintspan, and today I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions from a Twitter about the Casino DLC. But before we get into that, I'm going to keep mentioning it because, or in case anyone hasn't entered, I'm doing another $8 million Sharker giveaway. I'm going to be picking the winner. I'll probably either pick it Wednesday or Thursday, and then on Friday, I will probably be doing another one of these until the DLC comes out. So if you guys want to make million dollars in GT Online, then go follow me on Twitter. Link to that in the description below. Now the questions. So we got some interesting questions here. So the first one from Thugs Eat Oreos. Do you think we will be able to buy a hotel room in the casino? I would not care if it's like three million, but I just want to be able to set our spawn to the hotel room. So what makes this question so interesting is there's actually in the spawn location option in the interaction menu there's a way i don't know how i think it may just be like a random thing but there's a hotel spawn location if we take a look at this picture you can see spawn location hotel this was something i believe that initially at the beginning of gta online was that this was something that was cut basically i want to say that the hotel that Rockstar was going to add was going to be a place for a character if you didn't have an apartment or any other place to spawn. Like that would have been the one safe spawn location. I guess they just took it out. Not entirely sure why, but we do know from that initially that was supposed to be a spawn location. So maybe that's what ends up happening with the casino. It sounds more and more likely that the casino is going to be something that we partially own rather than fully own, which is unlike pretty much every other property in the game, which I guess makes a lot more sense because it's one location where like people at the arena and the nightclubs and offices, you could have everyone theoretically in the same office but and everyone owns it equally. Everyone shares the same helipad and all that. So it makes a lot more sense that with this casino, you're going to be owning it partially. If that's the case, though, that means there may not be a specific option to actually spawn in the casino, because if it's a publicly owned place that like everyone can own access to, and if there's only one interior, it wouldn't make much sense to have everyone spawn in the same interior. So that's where they could have some sort of hotel room option and it makes a lot of sense if we think of the name that rockstar have given us the diamond casino and resort resort is where people stay so i think that's what we're going to end up getting instead of having a spawn location in the casino we're going to have the spawn location in the hotel or in the resort now i'm assuming the resort's going to be the building like to the left of the casino because the casino itself isn't very big and i don't know i'm thinking maybe this is why we might see some uh exterior changes to that area just to make it a little bit mo more modern a little bit or to make the interior make a little bit more sense perhaps but that left building is the perfect place to actually have a little hotel room they mentioned there's like going to be some exclusive spending. So maybe that could be like a little mall area as well. And also one of the other questions we're going to get to, uh, someone asked this, uh, if our state or country doesn't allow gambling, will people be able to download the update? Just doesn't seem fair uh, if they can't gamble. So what, or because of that, Rockstar, they're going to have to make the casino interior where you gamble a separate loading screen. And I, I want to say the only people that are going to be allowed in there are going to be the people that live in countries where gambling is allowed. So like the few countries where it's all illegal, then I don't think you're going to be able to go inside of the casino because that's I'm pretty sure how it works in Red Dead Online. If you're in one of those countries, you can't even like spectate the people gambling. So if that's the case, then it makes sense to actually have the other parts of the DLC, like the business, like the spawn location in a separate building, which is that other building. And maybe they could just add a little bridge, a little connector gap, so 
you'd basically just you know walk into the little blue dot in front of a door in that left building in the resort and then you end up in the casino and if you're in one of those states that doesn't allow or countries that don't allow gambling you just you don't see that blue dot and you can't go in the casino now even if you are in one of those countries that don't allow gambling then you're still gonna be able to update the game like that's not gonna be an issue like i said the only thing that probably won't happen is you won't have access to the inside of the casino but you'll still have access to the cars the properties you know the resort part perhaps all the other stuff like you'll be fine but if we're just if if rocks are doing what they've done with red dead online then that's just going to be the way it is the next question from dalton do you think we'll be able to customize the interior of the casino well with what i just sort of said with us being partial owners I don't exactly know how the customization or the interior customization is going to work because in the nightclub, you can customize the interior. There's a ton of different options in the arena. You kind of have some different options for like the garage part and in everything else. Obviously, there's a bunch of options, but with this casino, it's sounding more and more like the casino gambling part is going to be a sort of a public esque place. So it would make much sense if just one person kind of gets to decide what the interior looks like i'm thinking you'll be able to upgrade and change the interior of like the business part your resort part but the casino itself i think rockstar are just going to have a certain look for it and that's just going to be what it looks like although speaking of the interior one of the suggestions i saw recently was some sort of vip area and we i don't know maybe got this a little bit in the nightclub but to make it more exclusive, I think would be even better. So like imagine in the casino, there's the normal floor where everyone gambles, but then there's like a VIP area, which maybe even might be like a high stakes area. That's where you can only go if you've met a minimum requirement of something. You know, maybe you need to be a VIP or maybe you need to be a CEO or something. And you could go into this this area, which is exclusive that, you know, only other people could go in that have done what you've done and that's where you do like the high stakes poker that's where like the high stakes roulette or high stakes slots is i really want to see a vip area just just because it would be cool to have the you know the peasants so to speak the plebs in the regular area and then the vips in the vip area although i'm sure at one point everyone's gonna be a vip so it won't even matter but that would be really cool no, with the next one, how much will the cheapest casino cost? This is another thing. I don't know how it's going to work because this is such a different and unique DLC. There's, I don't know if there's going to be like a cheapest look. I think the casino, I mean, how would they do that is just the question I'm asking myself basically. Because normally the amount of money you spend is the interior customization and adding new bits and parts. Now I'm guessing, yeah, like the casino and the resort, that might be an extra cost in addition to the casino, but the casino itself, I think that's just gonna be like a standard $2 million maybe, I don't know, 3 million, 4 million, I don't know how much it's gonna cost. But I think it's gonna just be a standard amount since there might not be customization or like things that you can change on the inside. Maybe the extra costs will be the option to like just always have the attendant take your car and park it for you instead of paying like i don't know ten thousand dollars per arrival to the casino you just spend like two hundred fifty thousand, and then you have like a membership for that for life they could do some stuff like that but yeah i don't i don't see the casino really having much of a price range and i i do think it's going to cost you know million two three four million dollars it's definitely going to be in the million somewhere rockstar wants you to spend money klx do you think this dlc will have some quality of life changes to make up for the long wait what i am looking forward to seeing how or what rockstar do with this dlc is with that custom uh the customer feedback the online feedback section that they added i think in like march this is the first dlc since they put that up so what changes what are they adding what have they added that people requested through that feedback if anything like if if there's not any somewhat quality of life changes that people have been asking for for like five years 
I'm going to be disappointed. I'm going to be honest. But this is going to be the DLC where we truly see how much they listen to the community based off of that online feedback section. And then the final question, the question of the day, Noah Ross, do you think the whole casino thing is going to live up to the hype? I kind of don't want to answer that. I, I kind of just want to hear your guys' thoughts on this topic. But that is, that's something to think about, really, because... There's been a couple of DLCs that were like super, super hyped initially. Then they came out and then like no one played them. I think like Smuggler's Run, that was one that was like, oh my God, freaking we have to go own airports and all this stuff. And then like no one played it after. Granted, that was mainly because of Rockstar, because Rockstar botched the whole missions and made everything insanely expensive. But that was a DLC. The Arena Wars, to an extent, it lasted a little bit longer, but still not too many people play Arena Wars stuff now. And... They locked like a million different things behind a crazy pay, kind of paywall. And it's not just, I don't see many people around their arenas too often. So yeah, is the casino gonna live up to the hype? What do you think? Thank you all for watching. That's gonna do it for this video. Please drop it a like. If you did enjoy, subscribe for more GT Online Casino DLC videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.